So we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna upgrade our hospital first, and then we're gonna form England and start conquering shit. Unless, do I already have a? Oh, I don't have enough piety to declare war on another Catholic right now. Barony of Tottenham. Sure, that's fine. He lacks an education focus. Okay, willful, timid, and haughty. So he would break even as a soldier. Timid and haughty. Wouldn't be a good steward. Timid. He would actually be a pretty good priest. Yeah, he'd actually do best as a priest. So let's give him that education. Range marriage. Uh, this is princess of my dynasty, so no, we're not going to marry him to... Oh, he's the king of... Galicia and the Duke of Asturias. Okay, so this isn't the Leonese. This isn't the the guys that we hate because they betrayed us and never forget. Um, no, I'm gonna marry her matrilineally, not to the clubfoot. I guess we'll marry her to this Jewish dude. I think the uh, the double chin is endemic in our dynasty now, unfortunately. We're going to be like the Habsburgs. We're just going to be known for having weird chins. That looks like a revolter, is that? Saxon revolt. Beringer the bear of Saxon revolt. Not actually a Saxon, strangely enough. So is he trying to... Okay, so he's revolting against the vassal kingdom of Saxony. Not actually against the Frankish Empire. Which is hardly Frankish anymore. They don't actually hold a lot of Frankish land. <laughs> Although French culture has started to spread to northern Germany. Let's see, how are the Mongols doing? Still losing, probably. Oh, wow! Oh, they flipped that shit around. <laughs> they were at negative 25 when this episode started, and now they're at plus 65. God, man. Well, it's because they're fighting in Kiva. Like, that's where their horse archers are going to destroy everybody. Roland of Sussex and his entourage were accosted by brigands who made off with several valuables. Uh, he's demanding compensation. I'll personally compensate you both. I have a lot of money. Let's get our feudal vassal opinion up. Council still discontent. Who are the Aztecs fighting? Is it just internal war? Yeah. Also, I'm curious to see, because there was a bug that was just fixed... Funny, a lot of his vassals are are Europeans who have adopted Nahua culture. Okay, so it looks like the bug didn't affect the save file. Uh, there, there was there was a bug apparently where Nahua vassals of the Aztec Empire were converting to local culture too often, and I was thinking maybe that was a reason that Nahua as a culture was not spreading as quickly as you'd think it would be. Um, but yeah, it looks like that bug didn't really affect our file that much. I have a cran grandson named Tudalin. He's gonna go for the struggle. Live for the struggle. Lots of child vassals. Did Northumberland convert culture? Oh, they're Irish now. Yeah, they're Oenacht and they're they're Irish. So that's why Northumberland migrated to Ireland. <laughs> because it's ruled by an Irish dynasty and is predominantly Irish. 
It'd be hilarious if Northumberland formed Ireland. Let's see. We need a new commander. Not Craven. High Marshal. Good. You're it. You got the job. Let's upgrade the sick house force first. Baron Garia. Born to my kinswoman. It's a bastard. Uh, don't know who's. Ah, the Count of Bedford. Gotcha. So she didn't want to sleep with the old Jewish guy, apparently. So we're not as absurdly rich as we were previously. Oh, man. See, we've even got more depopulation going on here. Just because the disease has... Ravaged the countryside somewhat. Quinch Countess of Winchester claims that the Count of Kent is attempting to promote vile heresies. Well, he's a Catholic. His county is Catholic. Um, so I'm just going to not say anything about it because I think you're fibbing. I think you're fibbing to me. Lady. Hey, Vikings! We haven't seen those guys in a while. Oh, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so I'm starting to think Princess Morvana. How is she related to me? My kinswoman. It looks like she's actually my daughter, though. Oh, she's Uther's daughter. That's right, I forgot Uther died in a game of chess against Grim Reaper. So, Bryant is actually from Dregoreth's branch of the Harskett line. And he's the son of Kenguithan, who was not at all an important person. Um... So actually, we've been in Dregoreth's line for a while now, because Uther... So she's actually my great-niece once removed, something like that. Nah, uh, yeah, let's do it just to be interesting. Oh, I accidentally clicked the no button. My bad. Alright, so we fought off a 5-to-1 outnumbered Viking army and only lost, like, 20-something guys, and captured one of their commanders. That's how we do it. Whoa, Mercy and Revolt. Do we have a CB on them? No, we don't. Do we have a CB on them? I could claim a bunch of stuff for other people. What about on uh, Northumberland here? Make him a tributary? Nah. That's that's what I think I should actually do. I should I should try to either form Ireland myself or arrange for it to be formed and then make them a tributary. Maybe I don't know. Tributaries are kind of annoying because they automatically dissolve uh, upon ruler death. So. According to Chancellor Harscott, Peasants of Cornwall, Harvest Festivals, yeah, absolutely. Fest away. Uh, Count Roland, yeah, I'll personally compensate everyone involved. Awesome, I'll now be known as the Just. Not too bad, huh? Not, not too bad. brawny so that she'll, should keep me alive longer i'll probably take the hunting focus somewhere down the line just so i can increase that further my grandson Ryuin, is the son of well he's the son of my son obviously if he's my grandson that was kind of a dumb question 11 year reinforcements let's hope so let's hope so Got an expanded sick house. Promote a new commander. 
So the next thing we want is probably a library. Econ tech. Yeah, let's build a library next. Gihomart, I feel like we've had that name before. We'll get to the conquest. We're getting there. First we gotta deal with some more Vikings. Check on my baronies here. Yeah, I'm gonna let them continue to upgrade Totnes. <laughs> I feel like Totnes is a name I ran into at some point when I was trying to learn how to play football manager. Do they have a do they have a prominent team? Uh, architect has been brought before your court proposing the construction of a new castle in Shrewsbury. Yeah, let's do it. Raiders under Hrothgar of Chist. They will not survive against the knights. Also, I need to take my king off of that stack because he's going to get maimed or something. Well, it looks like uh, Mercia might just implode on its own <laughs> from the looks of things. Hold the grand tournament. Here's what we'll do. We'll hold the grand tournament and then we'll go... Um, then we'll go... Start conquering some Mercian land. I won't wait to up, just get like 2,000, 3,000 gold or whatever it is I need to upgrade the, the hospital in Devon. Or in, yeah, in Devon. We'll just, we'll just do that as we go. So, grand tournament. Tournament begins soon. How much gold do we need to form England? Probably need a whole bunch of piety as well. I don't know if we fit, fit that. Yeah, we actually need 40 more piety, so we wouldn't have been able to create it yet anyway. And 368 gold. Let the tournament begin! Castle in Shrewsbury has been finished. Surplus building material has been sold and placed in your coffers. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new vassal for that. Excellent. My guest, um, Gwerdly, has been wounded. Most unfortunate. At least it's just wounded and not maimed. I judge the felon to death. Just sentence. 15 prestige. Tancrad Abunid fought his way to third place. Personal combat skill of one and a martial skill of war. Or four. Gwentanitz got second place. Personal combat skill of one. Martial skill of 23. Not bad. And Count the Count of Kent has been crowned the winner. He has a personal combat skill of three and a martial skill of 16. So it does seem like they've added more logic to this. A glorious event. Uh, farmers prepare for sowing their crops. Ch court chaplain suggests you bring out the holy relic. Yeah, let's do it. So, am I still holding a grand tournament? No, I am not. So let's go ahead. Actually, I'm not going to do a bookmark yet until I form the king of England. Weak claims can be pressed. County of Artois. By the way, can I raise any more retinues? Not quite yet. We're very close. If we get one more level of military org, we'll be able to. Also, Majesty and Legalism are up to snuff. Noble Customs. 
Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I'm about to be pissing off some noblemen in a big way, so... Alright, I think we can form England now. Oh, not yet. Still need 200 deity. <laughs> we own a holy relic. We don't have any, like, negative traits, so this seems like it's ticking up slowly. I'm curious to see if we could fight that off on our own, but again, I don't want to stack wipe my knights, so... Let's give the artist patronage. Fosta of Gotland. The Geats. Or I guess the Guntisher. I mean, they're all... They're all from the same place, ultimately, but... The Geats are from... This region... And the Guntish are specifically the ones who stayed on Gotland. And then the Goths are the ones that settled on the northern shore of... But they're, they're all from Gotland, ultimately. Or at least we think so. Oh, really? 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 Really, man? Really? Like, you all decided to come and raid here, and then you didn't get the memo. None of you got the memo that the other two hosts had been destroyed utterly. This guy looks to be stuck here. Uh, Bishop has died, I believe. So we need... Oh, Gwentinet! My court physician. He can, he can do the job. Keep religious relations in Rome. I don't have any heretic counties or anything, do I? No. Oh, did the Aztecs... Yep, the Aztecs took another bite out of the, uh, the Franks, it looks like. Um, yeah. So, do they own... They own three out of five holy sites, but they captured... They just captured a Catholic holy site in Cologne, um, which is, I believe it's, yeah, so Cologne is the county capital, yeah, so they have a Nahua person in there, so that should have hurt Catholic mor moral authority, actually. Um, nope, still at 100%, <laughs> even though, uh, even though, but the, the Nahua should have gone up. Okay, so they're at 42% authority now. So they haven't significantly hurt the Catholic moral authority, but their own moral authority is going up. I think if it's above 50 or maybe above 60, they can reform their religion with three holy sites. Um, which I hope they'll do, or they'll just go after Rome and not worry about London. Because <laughs> that is one of their holy sites, um, and we don't want them. We don't want them here. Do not want. Alright. Excellent. New bird has arrived. Let's go out for a uh, hunt. Let's read the book. Aspiring poet. Excellent. So now we can form the Kingdom of England. Let's click through all of the options. This interface needs to be redone. Kingdom of Logir. Okay, so it automatically has a a uh, custom name for it with Breton culture. That's cool. So we're going to nominate... We're going to try to keep the kingdoms together, so we're going to nominate Morvana. And... Fable Free Vassal War Declaration. Is that new? Oh, that's awesome! So you can set it so your vassals can still declare external wars, which are good, but they can't declare internal wars, which are bad. That's that's great. That's just great, actually. What do we need? We need Imperial Administration. Okay, so not going to unlock that for a while. I'm pretty sure that was not in the game before, but I could be wrong. So, juror claim on... Do we really have to go county by county? 
Like, is that how this is gonna go? Like, can't we just declare war for a duchy or something? Now, here, yeah, I can't press all claims. That's annoying. Here's what we'll do, though. So, if we look at the Jure duchies. We'll start by breaking up the core lands of Mercia, like their crown lands, and then I think if I put... Is anyone Duke of York... I think if I put my Chancellor here, he might give me a claim on the whole duchy. So we'll just, we'll kind of do that. So let's go ahead and declare war for Wister first. Yeah, that's what we want to do. So it looks like we are going to have to kind of go county by county, but that's all right. So that, I know, is not going to be a good thing. There we go. Now we're not crossing any hostile lands on the way there. 